Hi, Amy. I want to talk today about what happens if you record your mortgage payment incorrectly. If mortgage payments aren't recorded correctly, your financial statements are not accurate, you're not able to make good decisions on your business based on the reports you're seeing, and your CPA is going to spend more time, which will cost you more money to get your taxes prepared and your QuickBooks or software cleaned up. Okay. Well, I think this is a great topic, and when we talked about it, I, I felt like this was something our readers could definitely benefit from. So today, Amy Heinen from Quick Action Accounting and I are going to talk about three main things. What an escrow account is, how to record mortgage payments when you have an escrow account, and if you do it wrong, what happens? And then we'll do a little summary at the end. So why don't we begin with what is an escrow account? The escrow account is like a holding account that your mortgage company has of your funds. Mm -hmm. You pay into it each month when you make your mortgage payment, mm -hmm. and they hold that money until you need to pay your taxes on the property or insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, why don't we just get started then? Let's show everyone how do you record a mortgage payment when you have an escrow account. Okay. In QuickBooks, I have a company here that has set everything up correctly. They, in their chart of accounts, they have set up the escrow account as a bank account. The reason you set the escrow account up as an asset in your QuickBooks is it's a bank account, basically. It, it's money mm -hmm. that is at your use to pay for expenses that you are generating revenue from. Okay. So we have escrow accounts set up as a bank account and assuming the company is in the process of acquiring more properties, we set up a sub account for just this property, Hunter's Creek Escrow. And then they have their um, fixed asset from when they purchased it set up. So if we look under the vendors, at how they record this loan payment throughat the year. Stretch this up a little. The mortgage payments split into three parts. It has the principal amount that is applied to the loan balance, the interest expense, which is an expense to the business, and then the escrow account, which is the money held to use for property taxes and insurance. Okay. So on this particular entry, we've split it according to the statement. Mm -hmm. I'll bring up, this is a statement that applies for this mortgage and this property. And as you can see on this statement, it's broke out right here for the last payment, how the principal interest and in escrow is split. So back mm -hmm. in QuickBooks, if we were to record that November payment, start with a new one out of the checking, The loan payment amount total is eight seventy one thirty seven thirty seven, and then on the statement right here, it shows that the principal amount one hundred sixty six thirty two, the interest amount was four thirty four ninety nine, and the escrow going into that holding account is 270.06. Okay. So we'll just enter that split. So we recorded the amounts and split it up according to that statement. Mm -hmm. At the time that this loan payment actually came out of the checking, you wouldn't have had the statement yet. Mm -hmm. So what I usually do is just record it with the last breakout. And then once I get the statement, I go in and edit the transaction to be accurate. Because what's, what's changing is uh, the amount of principal being paid. Right. The, the, the principal and interest um, split changes as the principal goes down. Mm -hmm. The other thing that might have happened is if the property taxes were paid out of the escrow, you would see that on the statement. Okay. The point of making the split is so that your QuickBooks will match. Now if we go back to our chart of accounts... 
and we look at our loan balance for this property, our ending balance after recording that payment is one hundred and six thousand nine hundred nine and four cents. Mm -hmm. If we look, if we look back at the statement, it shows right up here your current loan principal balance, and that matches. Mm -hmm. As well, it shows you on the statement your current escrow balance of one thousand twenty-six dollars and thirty-five cents. And if I look here, we match once again our escrow. Okay. So that helps us know how much is in there for the next property tax or insurance payment that might come out of it. Mm -hmm. So you have a very clear visual of what's really going on with each asset that you have when you are recording it correctly. That's correct. Then you're able to run in your reports. Under the company and financial reports, you can look at a profit and loss by job, which will show you all of the income and expenses related to that property. Mm -hmm. And you can see that the interest expense for the year will match. It will match the statement total interest paid. Okay. 482149. So earlier in the year, property taxes were paid out of the escrow account. Now, we were putting that money in what is a checking account in our chart of accounts mm -hmm. for the escrow. Correct. We can open that check register up and see that each month the payment mm -hmm. goes in. Back in March, the property taxes that were due were paid out. Mm -hmm. yep. And this just came out of the escrow checking balance versus mm -hmm. your checking account. Okay. And then it happens again in September, which is how we keep that escrow account in line. Mm -hmm. So your picture your, is very accurate as you look over your reports and your balances of your accounts. Okay. Now let's show an example of a company that did not record it correctly. We've seen many of those. You can imagine if there were 10 different properties how keeping this straight is much easier if you're doing it as you go versus at the end of the year trying to straighten it all out. What if right. your mortgage was sold between lenders mm -hmm. in the yes. middle of the year? That's a nightmare for the CPA to get straight. Yes. I feel your pain. Okay. Not so real estate company, unlike smart management, <laughs> does not have an escrow account set up in their chart of accounts. Okay. And when they're recording their loan payments throughout the year, they're simply recording it to mortgage payments. Mortgage payments? <laughs> the CPA will ask, and they'll look up that it's just an expense account. So they're putting all three parts, the escrow, the interest, and the loan payment into an expense account. Okay. Wrong. Right. Amy put together a nice comparison of a profit and loss statement between smart management and not so real estate company. It nicely illustrates the impact of incorrectly recording mortgage payments. For this particular statement, the escrow payments change during the year. So to be able to back into the numbers, here is a detailed breakdown of all the payments that were made, which are then summarized in the yellow column and they might match the loan statement. Revenue is the same between the two companies. The difference exists with the expenses. As you can see, Smart Management has their interest expense matching the statement from the bank, and they have property taxes that were paid out of their escrow account. They had a couple other expenses as well that were paid out of checking for some furnace repairs and insurance expenses. Over in not so real estate, they have all of their mortgage payments that they made for the entire year sitting in their expense account. And they have not recorded any property taxes for the year. In the end, they end up overstating their expenses, which then understates their profit. 
On this example, that is a difference of over $1,900. That's a lot of money for just one property. And this could mean that they are not prepared for their tax liability at the end of the year. On the balance sheet, if you look at smart management, they have an escrow balance in their assets. But not so real estate does not include an escrow balance, which understates their total current assets by the amount of the missing escrow balance of approximately $1,000. In the liability section, you will see that not so real estate is not applying any of the payments from the loan to reduce their loan balance, so they are overstating their liability. All of these things that are wrong, incorrect, that are incorrect, impact the bottom line. Okay, Amy, this has been awesome. I have personally learned a lot from this. So why don't we recap with just saying, telling our viewers the key takeaways. If you record your mortgage payment incorrectly, what happens? With those incorrect transactions in your bookkeeping software, you've thrown off your expenses. Mm -hmm. Most likely, you're overstating your expenses. You may have understated them. And that throws off your bottom line. Mm -hmm. You're not able to tie your balance sheet for the liability for the loan mm -hmm. or mortgage with the bank statements mm -hmm. or the escrow balance. Mm -hmm. So your assets and liabilities are affected as well as your bottom line. Okay, all right. So if you are at that time of the year, you're preparing for taxes, get it cleaned up. You'll save yourself some money with your accountant. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Amy, for being here today to talk with us. And as a reminder to our viewers, this is Amy Hyen from Quick Action Accounting, and we will share all of her contact information on the screen. And I'm Jerry Frank, and I'm CEO of Stratifolio. You can find us on Twitter, you can find us on Facebook, Google+, and YouTube. And we would very much appreciate any likes and subscribe to YouTube. And if you have other suggestions for videos or ideas that would give you some value, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.